First at four, voters in Arkansas will not get to decide this fall whether to allow access to abortions. This morning, the state's Supreme Court upheld the state's rejection of signed petitions for an abortion rights ballot initiative. Chris Bryant has been following the story since it broke this morning. And Chris, was this a close vote by the justices? Yeah, Lee, this is about as close as it gets when it comes to a Supreme Court decision. In the 4-3 decision, the court upheld the rejection of signature petitions election officials say were not properly submitted by the Arkansans for limited government. The group behind the measure argued that it, was, it hadn't been given enough time to provide the appropriate paperwork needed, and pro-life supporters in the state of Arkansas say this is a win for them. The Arkansas Abortion Amendment, which had support from more than 102,000 voters um, who signed the petition to get this on the ballot, um, will not be on the ballot come November. So our fight is not over, um, and we just hope that folks will stick with us so that we can continue this fight together. Because, I mean, we have been fighting this battle hard in Arkansas. We knew it was coming when Dobbs came out that we would be a target. We were the number one pro-life state last four years running. Arkansas Right to Life says that voters have already decided on the topic in previous elections. Arkansas voters have already spoken on this issue. They have elected pro-life uh, representatives and senators. Our entire uh, constitutional officers are pro-life and our Cong congressional delegation. We're a pro-life state. The natural state currently bans abortion at any time during pregnancy unless the mother's life is at risk due to a medical emergency. They wanted to be able to make their voice heard on this issue. Direct democracy is a constitutionally protected right in Arkansas. Um, and in this case, it feels like the court um, has ruled to silence those voters and has ruled um, to kind of impede on that constitutionally protected right. The proposed amendment would have prohibited laws banning abortion in the first 20 weeks of pregnancy and allowed the procedure later on in cases of rape, incest, threats to the woman's health or life, or if the fetus would be unlikely to survive birth. When it comes to the ruling, Arkansas GOP said life wins. State Senator Ben Gilmore called it great news. And Arkansas State Senator Greg Letting said it's maddening and heartbreaking that the Arkansas abortion amendment won't be on the ballot this fall. But that doesn't mean Arkansas doesn't get to vote on the issue. Our lawyers are currently exploring what legal recourse we have for the short term. It's not clear that there is any further recourse or if there's any other avenues we can explore. Um, if there's not, our next step would be to look at qualifying for 2026. Supporters of the amendment say it would not have created a constitutional right to abortion. The governor of Arkansas, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, said on social media, proud I helped build the first conservative Supreme Court in the history of Arkansas, and today that court upheld the rule of law and with it the right to life. Now, I reached out to the uh, Planned Parenthood of the Great Plains, who refused to give a comment on this story, but did say in an email to us that they would not be commenting on the ruling. To read more about the reaction and the ruling for yourself, we have links to it inside this story at ky3.com. Now, Missouri has a constitutional amendment to allow abortion that is on the ballot in November. In the newsroom, Chris Bryant, KY3 News.